Programming made possible by Visit Lex, Horse Capital of the World. All right, here we are, Wilderness Trail Distillery in Danville, Kentucky. Very cool historic tasting room they've got going on here. Let's ring the bell and see who we can meet. And literally, we're going to ring the bell. Very cool. Hello, hey, welcome to Wilderness Trail Distillery. I'm Jared. Jared, Kyle. Kyle, come on in, man. All right. What a great place you got here in Thank Danville. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Tell me about this house. The guy that owned it, Willis Grimes, uh, his adopted daughter, uh, her kids actually wanted to write the happy birthday song. Happy birthday song. The, 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 I can't say it because I think it's copyrighted. It's a full visitor center, so uh, you can grab a bite in here, you can come get a drink, uh, or you can check out our spirits that we have for sale. Yes, we have uh, our Blue Heron Vodka and our Harvest Rum for sale. The vodka is a, a drink we make out of all local ingredients, so we're two miles to build a bottle. Then we have our rum. Our rum is really unique, Kyle, that uh, it's the only rum made out of sorghum molasses, so it lets us be a 100% Kentucky rum. Sorghum molasses, yeah, all say. right. Probably need to see where all this stuff comes from. I, I've heard a rumor that you, you make this stuff. Yeah, make it right here. They're not just selling it, they're making it. So, where? Where are we at now? Yes, yeah, so this, this is our fermentation area up here. So up here we have our cook tank, our brew well, then our big four, 4,000 gallon fermenter. And this is, so this is a fermenter. Yeah, so in here what we have is, uh, is our bourbon mash fermenting. So we've got our corn and our wheat that was grown just right down the road. And now we're letting the yeast do their job. So inside of here we've got billions of yeast cells. They're, uh, they're going to work. Yeah, you can you see, can them see this stuff, this, this, it's alive! I'm telling you, this stuff is breathing. It is breathing, it is pulsing. It, there's something in there that you're not telling me about. So yeah, so the yeast are doing their job for us. They're converting all those starches into CO2, which is why you can smell it. And then the alcohol, and of course that's what we want. It's what makes us feel good. So Kyle, you should really talk to our head distiller, Shane, about this. Uh, he's really got the knowledge base for, for what we do. Let's go, let's go find Shane. Hello, my name is Shane and I am the master distiller here at Wilderness Trail Distillery. Primarily what we make here is bourbon uh, and we make that with local grains. Uh, from where we're standing, our grains are growing a mile and a half from here. We're already at a Kentucky Straight Whiskey. We've been making uh, bourbon now for three and a half years. So we got another year and a half before we're going to release what we feel uh, is a traditional quality bourbon made in Kentucky. Well, absolutely, water is crucial. I mean, to every part of our process. Actually, part of the water we use in our cook process comes from Dix River through Harrington Lake, uh, and that comes through us on our municipality water, and we use that water. Uh, and then we also utilize uh, high bridge natural uh, limestone filtered spring water for all of our proofing. And so uh, that's how crucial water is to us. We would, we would not use anything but that water uh, from Kentucky. So here we are in our uh, new state-of-the-art laboratory. So you won't see another lab like ours on the bourbon trip. We've got three PhDs that are on staff, uh, so a lot of high-level stuff. Uh, we work with you know, distilleries all over the world to help them on their you know, research and development, help them get their flavor profiles correct, and help them prevent contamination uh, with certain compounds. So. Please do not drink your gasoline out of the pump. Totally different stuff, right? Right, totally, totally. Okay. Uh, but still compound. derived from the yeast and research going on here, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Our yeast is responsible for about 20% of the world's alcohol production, uh, which is a very impressive number, but a lot of that does go into fuel ethanol because that is 10% of every gallon of gas that we use here in America. Yeah, so you should really talk to our, our co-founder, Pat. Pat is, uh, has his PhD in microbiology. He's really the, the yeast master around here, and he'd love to talk to you about this Pat, stuff. all right, let's go yeah. find Pat because right, I want to hear some more about this science. Hello, I'm Pat Heist, co-owner, co-founder, and the science guy here at Wilderness Trail Distillery. This is a very scientific process. So starting with grains, you know, what types of grains are you gonna use? What quality are those grains? And so that's where the lab starts to come in because we wanna look at things like starch content, moisture content of the grains. Those are things that we look at in the lab. When we make that mash, there are certain temperatures at which starch is converted into fermentable sugars, and then there are lower temperatures where the yeast are going to convert those fermentable sugars into alcohol. And so all those steps are monitored so that at the end of a fermentation, 
we have maximized the amount of alcohol per unit of grain and we have minimized the amount of sugar that's left over. Uh, we have uh, been working with other distilleries, literally hundreds of distilleries around the world on you know, how to best help them to utilize sugar, make alcohol, increase yields. So in a typical day, we might see more or troubleshoot more problems than a typical distillery would see in 30 years. And we're able to take all that experience and compile it into kind of the best practices here at our own distillery. All right, so we are here in the tasting room at Wilderness Trail, and uh, this is the fun part. This is all the hard work's paid off of this. So the first thing we'll try is our blue hair vodka. Uh, and we get our name from Lake Harrington, uh, which is the name of Big River, right? There you go. Yep, so uh, we got the blue in there from Kentucky as well. Uh, this vodka is made of all local grains, so two miles filled a bottle uh, using local ingredients. What really separates our vodka is that it's unfiltered. Uh, so it actually has some nice flavor to it. Cool trivia. Yeah. All right, now moving on to the rum. We got some rum here. This is the sorghum molasses rum. Makes yeah. it a unique Kentucky style. Yeah, the rum is very special. So it's made out of Kentucky grown sweet sorghum. The only 100% Kentucky rum. We're the only distillery to do it out of sorghum. But we want to use sorghum to have that Kentucky ingredient. Uh, sorghum's got a long history tradition here in Kentucky. So just like uh, our, our great grandfathers did, we're finding a use for that. And we're making this great Kentucky rum out of it that we also age in Kentucky bourbon barrels. It's got a very sweet smell to it. Absolutely, same thing. It's a lot more complex, so there's going to be different layers on it. it. Looks like we've got some good products here. And bourbon down the road. Jared, it's been a pleasure, man. This oh, has been an educational much. experience and a lot of fun. And uh, I can't wait to come back and uh, try the bourbon when it's ready. Absolutely, anytime, man. We'll crack a bourbon just for you. All right, you know what? we got to roll out. we got to stop. <laughs>